Hi, Patricia Love back again from Love Healing Hearts. Listen, I had a dream. I almost forgot to tell you about this. I had a dream just yesterday about a bombing. I believe this is a prophetic dream. In this dream, I dreamt that I was in the car with a bunch of people and we were driving the back roads way out in the middle of nowhere. There were no street lights. There were no street signs. We were using a country road. I have no idea where this was, people. I really have no idea. But if any of you have any inclination or God has given you a dream that's given more clarity to location, please chime in and let us know. Comment below. But this, we were in this car and we heard this boom and we see this light flashing and you can see a missile leaving the ground almost, flying up in the sky. And I mean, it went for miles and miles and miles and we just sat there and watched it and we're looking up through the car window and we're I mean, this thing seemed like it took forever, and we were just like, oh, Lord, where is this thing going to fall? And it just kept going, kept going, kept going, and it turned out it was two of them. Because when it hit the ground, it looked like it hit the ground maybe 50 miles from us. Like I said, we were out in the middle of nowhere, so there was nothing but land, nothing blocking our view, and you could see for miles. These two things hit the ground simultaneously. And the ground lit up. And this was the weird part. This is this is weird. Again, we are a bunch of believers. And in this dream, we are looking at this as if it's the norm. This is not like, oh, this is the first time or, oh, what's going on? This is like the norm. And we are starting to joke about what we're going to do when we get where we're going. And just hoping nobody got hurt, that that didn't land where people lived. And that's as far as the dream went. We were, again, okay. And it was like trouble happening all around us, but not hitting us. There's a scripture in Psalms 91 that says, a thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee, which means it shall not come near thee. So I believe that we're going to experience things that we hear about, see about, and witness, but we will come out unscathed. Listen, saints, read the Bible. Read the Bible because I believe that we're entering a time when we're going to have to depend on God's miracles like the Israelites did in the wilderness. When the water runs out, there's no water supply. Sparklets is on the run, but they're not delivering water. Or Arrowhead or whatever the company is where you get your water or the store where you buy it. We may not have access to water. I'm just saying, we may not. I'm not prophesying, I'm just saying. However, God pulled water out of a rock. We have to read that Bible because we have to remind ourselves of all the miracles we have at our disposal because of our God that is always at our disposal. Try to remember that. Remember how God fed the Israelites with manna from heaven. Remember how God dropped quail out the sky. God can, can make food. He can multiply. Remember when Jesus had the, the, the bread and the, the fishes, the loaves and the fishes, as they say, and people sat down to eat, thousands and thousands of people. And he only had seven portions. But everybody got fed to the full 
and he gathered up from the fragments 12 baskets full of fragments. That's a miracle of multiplication. Remember, I believe God said that we as believers would have all the help we need and it would be easily accessible, surprisingly easy. So read your word so that you can build up your faith. And when you need to put gasoline in the car and you can't because there is no gasoline supply, you can ask God as you pour water, olive oil, whatever liquid you have, and ask God to turn that into gasoline. This is going to have to be a year of tremendous faith. We're going to have to believe way beyond the norm. Not think outside the box. We have to think as if there is no box. And remember that with God, all things are possible. And we will never be forsaken, forgotten, or abandoned by our Father in heaven. God bless you. Be encouraged. This is not a time to fear. This is a time for faith. God bless you.